What's up, everybody? I'm here with Aaron. Hey, Aaron, what are we doing right now? Uh, we're here at uh, Society Barbell and Fitness. We're gonna teach a couple of these dudes how to snatch and clean jerk. We got some knowledge bombs like we always do when we come out here. So uh, it's gonna be fun, like always. Where exactly is Society Barbell? Miami, Florida. What a shitty view. Super shitty. Yeah, shitty view. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about Got a couple guys here, Chris and Steve, and they're gonna warm up a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have them start snatching. And then as they snatch, I'm just gonna kinda watch them and I'm gonna make what I think are the simplest corrections. So what's the biggest bang for the buck, right? Like what's a, a little fix we can make that'll make a big difference? Or maybe they're doing something completely wrong and what, what fix can I make then to make a big difference? So I'm gonna help these guys out. Um, we're gonna snatch first, see where time's at, maybe clean and jerk also, but really just kinda more of like a one-on-one uh, -on -one session, just helping them out with their lifts. So, here we go. A couple things I'm seeing kind of early, so I'm gonna watch as some weight goes on. Is Steve has the habit of jumping forward a little bit, um, so we're gonna see if that continues. Um, looks like he's behind the bar a little early over here. We moved his hands out just a little bit, so we'll see once it gets going. And so the but instead of one thing is you have to stand on this line that'll help you stay behind it, that's what it's called the fall yeah, right? So or the, the root issue. So the issue as a wire doing that is you're getting behind the bar really early. Right? So your shoulders you want to stay on top of the bar always. Okay, always on top of the bar. Meaning that when it's in your hips, you're already behind it. We want you when the bar's in your hips for your shoulders to be directly over the bar to Okay? So Let's go ahead and uh, take the weights off real quick and we'll work them back on. So yeah, so Steve, Steve's problem with jumping forward kind of what's the root issue and that's a positioning thing. Go ahead and grab the bar. And so just go to like your power position, position one. Alright, you work ear lock, you want to make sure it's actually here to hit that. So the center your shoulders over the bar, right? And then from there when you finish, you just stand straight up, straight up and then under. Okay, what you were doing, you were here and you were finishing back, okay. and that's why you're like chasing it. Right, so from here to straight up. Alright, so go ahead there, you go. Good, again. Get over the open up, stop. Stay tight, you're standing all the way up, all the way up. Speed drive tight. Boom. Alright, now go ahead and back. Good. And go. Good. One more. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna bring it back down that position. Now from here, go to go to that's good. Now to just both knees. Good, a little more. Good. Now go back to that position. Oh, nope. That that's there. All right, again. There and then back to that position. There. Now let's relax the bar float away from you a little bit. There you go. Pull it in. Boom. Feel like you're in your lap. Put it in. Relax. Pull it in. Good. So that's what we want to do. All right. So one more time. Hold it there. Just below the knee. Back to the hip. Good, and go. Good. There it is. Alright, we're going to kind of work that drill one more time. Go ahead and put that rest a little bit. What we're going to do from here, we're going to all the way up. So one from the hip, one from the knee, one from the floor. Okay? We're going to walk through position first. All the way up. Good, position one. Good, now to the knee. And out of the floor. Hip down. And out of the knee. To the hip. Ah. Over there. And go. Good. And now the hip position, now the knee. Go up there. Very good. And now up the floor. I want you to go as slow as you can to the knee and then you go. Alright? Stay open. Stay over the bar. Come on, Steve. Much better. How's that feel? Good. Okay, cool. So like you're not you're not gonna floor at all. You no, know, like this is like the root of the issue, you know? You know, you're going to, that change makes a big difference. The best way to do it is warming up. Three positions. Here, knee, floor, and then just go move between them. But every time you're hit, you never come up. Always on top of the bar. Right? And you always train positions that way, but that's the exact name. Good. 
thing here, you jump as high as you can. Do you go like this, or do you go like, this is where you jump from, right? So that's where your power's at, you want to move from the right? You want to set up like you have a natural clip, just go in the start position. So, I believe you're a little uh, high. You want to send your shoulder to be directly on the bottom of the bar, it's in front of it right now. So just sink your hips a hair more, or a little more. Uh, there. Now the center of your shoulder is directly on top of the bar, and that's what we want. Now, stand up, relax. Now, from there, when you come off the ground, I don't want you to think of a pull like a deadlift. I want you to move like a squat. So think when you're squatting, how you push your feet through the floor, you're not like pulling with your ass, right? So from that position, I want you to actually push your feet through the floor like you're doing a squat. So keep my butt down. Yep, and just stop the bar at your knees. Good. Oh, there you go, lower back down. One more time. Good. All right, put it down, relax, take a stand up. Feel that's like a different feeling. So that's what the first pull, that's coming off the floor, that's what it should feel like. So it's going to feel heavier that way, off the floor, because you're using the quads and not your ass strength. But it's going to feel better above the knee. And that's what really matters, you know what I mean? So my feel, you're putting yourself a little bit of a disadvantage off the floor to be at an advantage when it matters, okay? Let's do that one more time, so let's set it to just the knee. Good, again, that's good. Good, very good. Sit. Make sure you do one with the pause, and then take the pause out. Good, 
Step back. Step up. There you go. Much better. Step back first. Good. One more turn. Good. Right through that time. Oh, yeah. Play for you. Like at the eye, not high enough for your finger. But it looks really good, especially in these waves. Like once we kind of got to get down a little, then like it looks really good. When they were higher, you're jumping back for a second. Like you're going to go down, you're going to jump back as far. You know, so yeah, it does. Uh -huh. And uh, but I mean, the jerk was great. I don't think anything else is really going to present itself unless we put a lot of weight on. Yeah, if you don't do it before you can, but like honestly, I think it looks good. Thank you. Like I think you just keep. Gonna, your technique's good enough to improve when your strength improves. Alright, so we got Steve here, so we, we just did some snatch clean and jerk work. What do you think out of everything we did? What's one thing that stands out the most that you think you're gonna implement moving forward? Working on soft back, back leg. On soft the back, back leg of the jerk? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's I like that because uh, with that correction you also correct your foot placement as well. And so it's like that's my entire theory on coach with all this, with everything, not just weightlifting, but you know, you want to find what's the smallest thing we can do that makes the biggest impact, right? right? So for you, soft back knee corrects like three different things, right. you know? So that's really cool. Yeah, I appreciate awesome. it. What's your time? Yeah, Go appreciate on. that. And Charlie, I called you Chris earlier on. Is there anything that kind of stands out to you that you... Yeah, you uh, definitely fixed my star position. In both right. Lifts, so. yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely I think uh, that was definitely an issue for me and, you know, just... Uh, Try and stay strong in the overhead position, and, right? And not not be not be soft overhead. Yeah, Charlie's actually a pretty good lifter. He had uh, overhead. He actually really I really like the overhead position a lot. Um, yeah, he's a little soft in snatch catch, and then his, his position off the floor we tweaked a little. And he actually was really good at making um, those adjustments. Um, clean and jerks, fucking solid. Um, I watched a couple lifts. I actually guessed. I said when they guessed, it's about 80% of your back squat, and it is. Um, you just tell how proficient he is with that. So on that, just the more you get stronger, it'll go up, which is awesome, because then it's like, all right, I can squat a little, and you know there's going to be a carryover right there. So, you did that, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. For sure.